Bitcoin and the rest of crypto has seen a beautiful pump today on the news that XRP was not ruled a security in their case against the SEC. This has been going on for years, you guys, so it's a huge deal for the XRP and their community. Um, but yeah, as we can see, I mean, crypto Bitcoin on its own here saw a beautiful pump to the upside. It shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. You guys are probably well aware I haven't been making very many videos lately. And my reasoning for that is just nothing's changed from my analysis over the last three weeks. Uh, basically since June 23rd is where I've mapped out this range. And I was saying as long as we hold this support box, I am just leaning bullish. I'm going to continue trying to scalp longs, taking partial positions on the way, but hoping to catch a breakout with the rest of my position. That's kind of what I'm hoping with this, uh, this entry that I had earlier this morning. Morning. Played out absolutely beautifully. I only have about a third of the position still on the table. Um, like I said, I'm aware of the risks that I am trading into this supply zone mapped out by the ELGO 3 indicator. Uh, so we are trading right into resistance kind of for the next thousand or so dollars here. There is that potential resistance up above us. So something to be cautious of there uh, before we get uh, too excited. But like I said, as it stands, we do still have this. We had this high. We have a higher high. This would be our higher low here. And I use that whole green, uh, this whole wick area as my uh, green box of support here. And um, I mean, my analysis remains the same. Like I said, it's I've had this mapped out ever since back here, and I've been very vocal about the fact I'm just going to try and scalp longs, uh, like I was just talking about. Until we drop that level, then I'll be a little more cautious, a little less bullish. Um, I would actually consider the thought of uh, scalping some shorts if we close some four-hour candles below this green box, but that obviously hasn't happened yet. Um, inside this resistance where y'all, so, uh, the indicator's trying to print this reversal warning here. This will not close for another two and a half hours until this candle closes until then that could still disappear here. But even if it does remain solid and we keep that W, uh, for those of you guys who are familiar, I made a video about my W scalping strategy, basically using these W's to point out a trend for us. And even on the four hour here, I mean, look at uh, what these W's are doing as we had this high set here and we set a higher high there. Uh, from there, we set a higher high with the W's. And from here, even if we do set another one, we are still just pointing out a very nice uptrend. And uh, same with on the bottom. We had a W here and we never really got another one right until we found support. Uh, bang in my support box there. So beautiful to see that uh, the indicators agreeing uh, using my W strategy is agreeing with this. So like I said, we are trading into resistance. It's important to be a little bit cautious at these levels. But um, yeah, that's why I'm just scalping. I'm being cautious with my scalps, taking profits, uh, updating my stop loss when I can, and just hoping to catch a breakout with the rest of my trade because I do see the potential for this trend to carry on to the upside. So uh, unfortunately, I did just have about an hour and a half to two hour live stream with MDX Crypto's uh, VIP Discord group. And it was a wonderful, uh, it, it was just a wonderful stream. And unfortunately, my uh, computer, my Discord decided to change a bunch of settings on me last second. And then the volume never ended up recording or my stream elements rather, not my Discord. So uh, that is very unfortunate. So I'm just doing a very quick market update for you guys. Uh, just to kind of catch you up with a few things that we talked about. Um... As it stands right now, yeah, basically um, this consolidation that we have up here just reminded me of this consolidation down here. We set this uh, higher high right here, and then again, it looked weak as we were dumping down to this green box, but then we just found support and took off because that was our structure, uh, our higher low structure, um, and that trend just continued, and that's kind of why I've been leaning so bullish here because we have the same exact setup pretty much. I'm um, going to hop over to the weekly chart. I'm still very bullish on Bitcoin as a whole, and I have been for quite a while. Um, my reasoning for that, my main reason is the fact that we had this low. This is on a macro time frame. These are weekly candles, but we had this low. We had a lower low. That would mean that this is our lower high. And just look what happened with that level. 
Um, this is where our market structure actually changed on a macro time frame here. And the fact that we broke that resistance and then retested it as support so beautifully formed this little demand zone here on the ELGO 3 indicator. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Now I'm very curious to see how Sunday evening's weekly candle body closes. If we close above this structure here, even though we have these wicks here, I mean, I would ideally we close above all these wicks as well, but just closing above this structure here just kind of makes me think that the trend is still intact. And I think that could be grounds for a very juicy move there. So yes, we do have this potential support back here, flipping into resistance. But if you look at our previous bear market, that never really happened and in fact i remember specifically getting burned myself by thinking this would be an easy short just flipping support into resistance so it's important to um just be cautious if you're trying to catch these reversals guys i know the market feels irrational and it feels like oh we've pumped too much uh, we get used to the fact that a lot of these pumps just end up being fake outs um the market basically tries to drive you nuts until you can't stand it anymore and you lose faith in your beliefs but um, as as it stands right now, um, I, I'm still just bullish on this structure. And yes, when you zoom out on the weekly time frame like this, it, it doesn't look all too unrealistic to expect some higher prices. And you guys know I've been talking about this 48K level, which also happens to be the 618 rejection fib. Um, I've been talking about this level for, well, since 2022, uh, since before Christmas. So, I mean, I, I still really think that that may end up being the kind of where our bull trap actually is much higher than when a lot of people were thinking, oh, manipulation down here and all that sort of stuff. Um, I, I personally don't think it was really manipulation because money talks and on the oscillator five down here, we have this green cloud. Um, that's just showing that the volume in the market is buyer heavy. That's money coming into the market. And look how uh, significant this indicator has been in the past. I'm actually not on a, a bit stamp chart that dates way back. Um, but you can see that, you know, when we flipped uh, red here, we obviously dropped uh, very dramatically there, very drastically rather. Uh, and then as soon as we flipped green way back here, I was starting to flip to a very bullish bias because this signal, um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I, I'm not gonna take the time to load up new charts and stuff, but when it flipped green the last time is when we got this pump and we ended up getting over a 600% move to the upside before it actually flipped back red. So something to consider there. We had these hidden bullish divergences. So there we have this potential bottom here. So uh, there's a lot of things going for Bitcoin right now, in my opinion. And just looking at shorter time frames, another thing we went over was just my W scalping strategy. Uh, once again, this is with the MDX Elgo 3. And uh, basically just using the reversal warnings. Um, that would be this feature right here, reversal warnings. Um, that's these W's here. And they can just really help you point out a trend like I was showing on the four hour there. Uh, you can see that these W's are just in fact setting higher highs. And then as soon as we got a higher low, that was that was a beautiful entry right there if you were looking for a scalp. This is just a one minute, but as far as, uh, you know, we did have this sell-off where people were starting to take profits. Uh, it, for people to start looking for, hey, I want to catch this pullback, that's where uh, this strategy can be very powerful because it's an early warning sign that things may be reversing. And like I said, this is just the one minute, so obviously you're playing it for what it is. You're not entering on a one minute scalp and trying to catch uh, a four hour uh, move, for example, un unless obviously like you're doing what I'm doing, I am still hoping for that breakout. But like I said, I am taking profits, treating the initial part of my... Uh, position like a scalp and then once I'm in a safe position to do so up update stop loss all that kind of thing then I hope to catch a runner with the rest of my position like what happened earlier today so uh, beautiful simple uh, little indicator strategy there I have a video about it on my YouTube channel uh, something about a reversal warning uh, go check it out if you want very cool video very short and to the point just showing this uh, this strategy a little bit closer but yeah, as it stands right now, you guys, uh, like I said, I'm only interested in longs until we end up losing kind of that 29.5 area. So until that happens, I'm just going to keep leaning with my bullish bias, continuing to scalp longs, like I said, taking profits along the way, but hoping to catch a much bigger runner in the process, because I think that this market does have room to the upside. It's just a matter of when it happens, but obviously nothing has to happen. 
I can be wrong on this. I trade shorter time frames anyways. Um, basically, I'm just looking for uh, which direction I want to play. And these W's can be such a powerful feature for doing that. So, oh man, like I said, I am just bummed out that I can't post the entire live stream, you guys. It was a lot of fun. It was a very good one. There was We had a good turnout. But uh, unfortunately, my computer was working against me there. So... Uh, unfortunately that video won't be posted and hopefully I got my point across to you here just kind of a few things that I'm looking at um, if you did appreciate this video please do me a favor hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't um, if you do want to be a part of the live streams like I put on weekly time uh, weekly live streams in MDX cryptos VIP discord group uh, there's also a few other coaches there is daily daily streams that happen with coaches teaching different things very active community uh, very active traders and very knowledgeable so uh, if these indicators interest you guys and uh, as well that comes with the discord as well um, if these indicators do interest you there is a referral link down below in my description which would give you a 15% discount but like I said guys the indicators I, I absolutely love them these are the only indicators that I use now um, and I, I just absolutely love them. They keep getting better with time. There's constantly updates coming out and stuff, just making them run better and faster and more features and stuff. Um, just absolutely love them. But like I said, I truly think that even more than half the value is getting into the Discord group and talking with experienced traders and just finding out what works for them, what doesn't, and that sort of thing. A lot of knowledge in there. So be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, with that, uh, obviously none of this has been financial advice always do your own research form your own opinions these are just uh this is some things that i'm looking at in the market like i said be cautious we are absolutely trading into resistance for the next thousand dollars or so here uh, a little bit of a supply zone there to watch for but like i said it does kind of look like bitcoin wants to carry on a little bit higher uh, but we're gonna have to see maybe this was just a fake out the fact that we actually got a four hour close above our wick here i do like that I, I wish we would have just absolutely taken off from there we're showing a little bit of weakness but we're gonna have to see what happens uh, i'm in a comfortable position i would like to add to my position if anything on a decent little pullback we're gonna have to see what happens here so um i also do see another little warning um, up here on the oscillator four, we have a bearish pivot there uh, lining up with this supply zone and this reversal warning as well. So there is some warning shots being fired there from the bearish scenario. But um, just me personally, I'm okay if I miss this move. Um, it, it's really no hard feelings if we end up just dumping down. I get stopped out of the rest of my trade. I miss the short. That's totally fine. I have no interest in catching this short. Um, I am not... Uh, I just personally don't want to try and catch a reversal. I mean, obviously it would be great. And yes, there's a lot of people out there who are going to uh, catch it and nail some beautiful profits doing that if that is the case. I just want to play the trend. And um, just I've been laying out this scenario for two to three weeks now and I'm just sticking to my game plan. I'm more than okay missing that. But if we do end up dropping this support level, this higher low here around 29.5, like I was saying, uh, that's where I start to at least consider the possibilities of starting to look for short scalps and uh, just trading the downside for a little bit. So like I said, we'll have to see as it stands right now. I'm still bullish. That's the way I'm going to lean. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video interesting or helpful. Uh, do me a favor, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, with that, I'm out. Stay safe, my friends. Peace. Ooh.